Hello, this is the 3D printer inside Leahy in the Occupational Therapy Department, and we're going to go over a few things on how to use your printer. Number one, here is the power switch. The printer should be on, but if it's not, flip it on. If you flip it on and the printer is still not turning on, check to make sure it's plugged into the wall. This should be plugged in here, and then obviously your outlet, your plug should be plugged into the outlet. Secondly, this power switch is a good emergency shutoff. If the printer is breaking, making weird noises, or you're overly concerned about it, flip this switch and that will turn the printer off to prevent any further damage from happening to the printer. This is your filament. We are currently set up with PLA. The PLA is going to run from the spool. It's going to run through this sensor. The blue light indicates that there is filament plugged in, or filament going through it. There we go. So as you can see, we have a blue light, filament goes through, and down to our nozzle. Some safety things about our nozzle here. This is where it's going to print from. This nozzle right here gets really, really hot. That goes up to 200 degrees Celsius. Do not touch it while it's printing. That can severely burn you. This is your print bed. This also gets hot, not as hot as the nozzle, but we do not recommend you touching it while printing. This over here is the interface. This is how you're going to tell the printer what to do. So for instance, if I hit the home button, I go home, I have settings. This will manually move the printer and the nozzle. And then that's how I'm going to eventually print from. So this is a little more information on how to use the interface system here to control your printer. So right now we are on our home screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the ready screen. This is going to give you this screen. This is where we can control our nozzle and our print bed in terms of their location to the printer. So for instance, if I want to move our gantry up, I'm going to hit the Z up. And if I want to move it down, I can then just hit the down button. If I want to move the nozzle left and right, I'm going to use the X here. I'm going to go X, I'm going to go over to the left, and then if I want to go over to the right, I can also move the bed forward and backwards. That's going to be our Y here. So I'm going to go down. That's going to move it forward. And the up button, that's going to move it backwards. This 10 millimeters means it's moving 10 millimeter like spaces instead of 0.1 or 1 millimeter. So to move it a further distance each click, you do 10 millimeters. If you want to move it a very small distance, go to 0.1 millimeters. So if you're ever having trouble with adhesion, which pretty much means the first layers of your print are not sticking to the print bed, you are going to want to consider re-leveling or auto-leveling the bed. So right now we're on our home screen. What you're going to do is go to settings. You're then going to go to leveling. The printer is going to start moving on its own. So you're going to let the printer do its thing for right now. And now at this point, you're ready to go. So you're now going to hit the start button. And this is now going to start auto leveling the bed. It's going to go to approximately 12 different points on the print bed, and it's going to level them all out. At this point, the bed is done leveling. As you can see, it says that it's at 100%. Now it's just moving the bed and the nozzle back to the center. It's also going to just re-level, or not re-level, but it's just going to do its thing here at the center. And now we are all done. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the back button. You're going to hit it a second time. And now you are back to your settings screen. You're ready to go. You have a level bed. Now you just have to check for filament if you haven't done so already. And you can begin printing. So eventually you're going to need to change your filament. We have a roll of white PLA set up right now, but this will eventually run out, or if you need to print in a different color, you're going to need to know how to change your filament. So the first step is to take a pair of angle snips, such as these, and you're going to cut the filament. You want to cut it between your sensor and the extruder. Now we're going to have to be able to pull it out, so you want to cut a little bit higher up. Always cut at an angle. It makes it easier to feed in the filament when you're putting it into the nozzle. So we're going to cut just like so. I already raised the gantry system here up to give us some more working room. But if you haven't done that already, you're just going to come to the ready and then hit RZ to move it up and down. You're also going to come to this page to heat up the nozzle. You cannot pull filament out when it's cold from the nozzle, so you need to heat it up. You're going to hit manual, come to nozzle temp, and you can heat it to about 180 degrees. Hit that check mark, and that will start heating it up. If you go to home, you can actually see up here our nozzle temp getting up to temperature. Once this gets up to around 180 degrees, you're going to pull the filament out. It's easier to do with two hands, but you're going to pull this tab back Grab and pull up, just like so. You do want to grab quickly, but like I said, I only have one hand, so it's a little bit not as clean. And there you go, your filament is out. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the filament in. Like I said, you want it to be cut at an angle, or as, most, as best you can at an angle. Same process to go back in. You're going to pull this back, and slide it in. You come back down here, you can really start to see now our filament is starting to come out of the nozzle and drip down. That is good, that means that the filament has been pushed through. What you're going to do is you're then just going to clear that away and it'll be good to go. For instance, if I come here. Like I said, that is very hot, so use the angle snips to snip and pull away. What you're then gonna come back here, go back to the ready screen, go back to manual, and you can turn, go back to zero, and that's going to then cool the nozzle back down. So there's no need to have it at 180 because then the filament's just going to push through and pull open a ball. And you're going to see that number up at the top. That's going to, as you can see, start to drop back down. So now it's time to print. The first thing you need to make sure is that the G-code is on the SD card. The SD card needs to be in the printer here so we can access the G-code to print. We're going to come to our screen here. We're going to hit print. And here's going to be a list of the things that are on that SD card that you can print. So I'm going to print this giant occluder. That is now uploaded. You can see it's right here. And now I'm going to hit the start button here. At this point, our printer is getting itself set up and it's going to start printing. So important things to note on this screen is this here is a percentage of how far the print is done printing. So if that gets to 30%, then the print is 30% of the way done. Do not get alarmed if the printer sits here for a while. It's just getting itself up to temperature. Both our nozzle and our print bed need to get up to temperature. So here you can see that our print bed is at 59 and the goal is to get to 60. And you can see here that our nozzle temperature is just about reached or has reached temperature at this point. And you can see now that we are beginning to print. This is normal to have it print a line like that. That's just getting the, the filament going through the nozzle. 
It is important that you stay for the first few prints to make sure that it is printing correctly. If a print is going to fail, it's usually going to fail in the beginning like this. So as you can see, we are starting to print our first few layers. So your print has finished. There's a few ways that you can tell. Number one, the printer has stopped moving. Number two, you can see on our screen here, we're at 100%. And there's also a finish button here. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the finish button. And now what you're going to do is you're gonna take your print off. So you're gonna remove, you're gonna pull this bed out a little bit. And then you're going to remove the bed. You're going to pop it up like so and it's actually stuck down by magnets. You're going to remove that piece since that's just trash. And you're gonna gently bend the, bend, bend the plate to pop the 3D print off. And there you go. You can now remove any supports needed. You can use a pair of needle nose pliers or the angle snips that I showed you earlier. Either way will work. And there you go. We have another 3D printed part. So now we need to put the plate back on the bed. We may need to raise the gantry, which as I've showed you, you need to go to the ready and you need to hit your Z up. That's going to slowly raise the, the gantry up and now we can put the plate back onto the bed. Like I said before, it is magnetic. Line up the corners and then gently set down. There you go. Now you have your bed back down, ready to go, and you can print again.